15 years ago, some young boys found a skeleton inside this house in Harnett County. Tonight, those remains have a name and a family has answers because of the work of a small group of scientists, genealogists and investigators. They're part of the North Carolina Cold Case Initiative, working to match unidentified remains with the missing and murdered. And this case was their first breakthrough. WREL's Amanda Lamb joins us now live from Lillington to explain. Amanda. Deborah, this is the list. 128 cases of unidentified remains here in North Carolina. And without the funding and the experts to work on these cases, a lot of them go unsolved. But as you said today, Harnett County has taken one case off this list. It wasn't exactly what a group of little boys expected to find when they chased their dog behind an abandoned, burned home in 2005. I thought it was like a fake skeleton that somebody just threw up there, but then I got to looking at it and I saw it was actually a real skeleton and we went and got my mom. For 15 years, there were no leads. He disappeared and um, no, no signs of him until recently where we were able to, to bring this closure. The man has now been identified as 24-year-old Michael Baker, a drifter they think died when the abandoned house caught fire. It's not the ending we wanted, but in the end, it, it, it brings closure to a family. The Harnett County Sheriff's Office announced today they solved the case thanks to the North Carolina Cold Case Initiative, funded by a state grant and spearheaded by NC State anthropologist Dr. Ann Ross. It's the first case they've solved. It's just the first step, so we think we are so excited that this means that we make more breaks on the other 13 cases that we have. Ross examines the bones, the remains go through high-level DNA testing, and results are sent to forensic genealogist Leslie Kaufman, who builds a family tree, trying to get investigators as close as possible to an identity. We're using DNA basically to trace their family roots, their history, and through their relatives, come to a conclusion. Now, I've been following the work of the NC Cold Case Initiative for more than a year for a new podcast that we're hosting called What Remains as part of the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network. If you would like to be the first to know when it launches, you can drop me an email at amanda at whatremainspodcast.com. Now, Baker's family has asked for privacy, but they told investigators they were very, very grateful that they were able to finally put some closure to this case. Deborah, what fascinating work. Amanda Lamb, live in Harnett County. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Amanda.